So friends, I'm going to make one more video over here. So this is my Samsung Galaxy Tab. Uh, what we can see over here is it is settings about. So this is Samsung Galaxy Tab ASM T510 and says status information, uh, not status, sorry, software information. So this is Android version 11. So what we are going to do here is we are going to connect it. I have already connected, but I'll show you the setup over here. So this is aux cable. This cable is connected to the head unit. So this head unit is Volkswagen Polo default head unit, uh, which is RCD. So I've connected this to aux unit. Now the other thing which we have over here is, so this is a, uh, what you can say is an adapter. Uh, so this is a micro USB on one side and USB-C on the other side and USB-A. So this is called OTJ adapter three in one kind of a thing. The second thing which we have here is a car link adapter. So this car link adapter, this car link adapter is this. This is ccpc200 hyphen ccpm so ccpm is wired android auto and wired uh, apple carplay so what we are going to do is this we are connect, going to connect to otg cable so this otg cable is connected over here once this is done i'm going to connect this micro uh, sorry usb c to this Galaxy tab. Once this is done, <clears throat> we are have, going to invoke this auto kit named app. Once this is done, you can see it says please connect to the phone. But if you want to check whether your Android tab is compatible or not, what you can go is you can go to the settings and there is a detection. Once you click on that, uh, since I have already configured, you see microphone enabled or allowed usb enabled allowed and decode enabled allowed so first time when you are going to install this app and invoke then you will have to connect and give permission for micro b mic, uh, microphone then for usb you have to connect a usb drive in otg cable so it will check whether it is allowed or not and decode function it also checks so once you get all these three green then that means that this tablet or that particular tablet is compatible uh, here uh, this is my iPhone 12. So I'll just unlock this. Once it is done, this is my iPhone 12. I'll connect this Carlink adapter to USB cable. And now USB cable to lightning cable. So this is lightning port and this is lightning cable. So I'll just try to keep it over here so that you can see. Once it is connected, you'll get to see it's starting on its own so sometimes what we I have seen is takes few seconds so now this is already done this one of the things which we are already playing onto it so now if there we want to do uh, we can go over here water being and this the ocean, so, so here it's not allowed but for example if you go to music is and it starts way? playing Okay, so I don't know what has gone wrong over here, but uh, uh, with this uh, only thing you can adjust with the steering mounted control is volume up, volume down and mute in my case. So if we do, so it has muted. There is this if you go, it will increase the about volume. river water being wasted to the ocean. And then Sadhguru. if you so go, it will volume make the volume it? lower. Uh, See, the you can go next be. and the it other things will clear. work with your you tab, um, app paste so this is fun activity which I did so I will uh, have also one. done one funny part is once I got this working uh, what I did was on my U television so I connected the same thing TA, TCL television not U and you could get a 32 inch of uh, CarPlay 
but the thing is since this is not a touch screen screen or television this is just for a fun that you get to see a larger image nothing beyond that uh, so some other thing what we can try to do from here is like you can change the background I think so you have customization option and settings I think from settings you can do it yeah appearance so you can change to this automatic always dark so everything works as it is and uh, this is how it looks like it's just like a fun part so again as I said uh, this uh, tablet uh, it is resting on this volume and power button or select button kind of a thing this is not the ideal scenario you may need to find a bracket or something or there are some magnetic uh, double sided adapter or something which you can paste it on either side and get hold of it uh, one more thing is that this has been tested on a stationary vehicle so right now so uh, once you go on a road and through bumps and potholes I don't know how it is going to behave but uh, whatever i have seen till now it's like the initial uh, invoking of app which is where it takes few uh, seconds or there is a hit and miss sometimes but uh, when it is connected it has remained working for quite a few time so it's like a fun part i don't know whether uh, this is really going to help anyone but uh, i just gave a try and thought of sharing with you hope you like the video if you want to ask any question feel free to comment over there thanks bye